I've been alone for a long time. Not because I want to be, but because until I solve this problem, I have to be. Your target is a fugitive from the U.S. government who stole military secrets. He's a special ops guy, and we don't know. I mean, the fact that he's English and he's in an American uniform, he's middle of nowhere, you know, he's hauled out of, he's put in difficult situations, he's always the team leader, he does that stuff. So he's an action man who is really unimpressed by anything. Remember me! I'm supposed to uh, infuriate and tease him and get him into a position that Ross wants to put him in. And... Is that it? Is that all you got? He's come to the end. I think he's literally on his last legs. It's, it's finishing for him. And they offer him a, a reprieve. They offer him something very, very, very special. So if you're taking another crack at him, I want in. I could probably arrange something like that. You ready? Yeah. Let's even the playing field. But I don't play by the rules at all. Are you telling me another one of your bioforce experiments has gone here, Wyatt? It comes to the point where I have to run away from the army and I have to go somewhere else. Out of the way! Two, one, action! Stunt guys were extraordinary, you know. They came up with all kinds of weird ideas. The setup was, you know, you, if you've got a stunt guy, then you, as the actor, direct the stunt guy. And the director directs you. And that way, it actually has some kind of character to it, as opposed to just being a stunt. He's on the ground going west. There was one way I jump and then get knocked sideways. And I was... And I wish I could have done that, but I never got to do that. But it's kind of, it was fun. I mean, I've never done. I mean, I've done a bit of stuff, but um, never done that action movie thing. Go get the harness off.